What's up guys? Video two of uh, maybe three, I don't know. I haven't finished the video yet, so I'm just going through and downloading. Uh, I'd said in my previous video that I really, I didn't go into this project intending to create a video on it. So I kind of just, at times, I was just updating a Facebook page, uh, which is the, you know, you hear me talking. I'm literally, uh, I would video a little step and some, some of my videos are actually answering questions where I was posting my uh, progress on uh, the DIY rooftop tent page. So just wanted to explain myself there. So I may wrap it up in this one. If so, it'll be a long video and I apologize if that's the case. Um, I, I'm not planning on it. Um, I'm planning on a vid three and a vid three is literally just going to be on the Jeep, walk around, show you the finished product mounted um, and everything. So I'll try to answer as much as I can along the way. Uh, feel free to comment down below and uh, thank you uh, the guys so far that have subscribed to my channel and, and, and commented uh, recently. Um, like I said, this was just something I was doing for myself to, to, to uh, see if I really like a rooftop tent. So at this stage right now, I'll go ahead and say this. Uh, I think I am about um, at the $300 mark. Um, I did have some of these things already, but most of it I literally had to buy. You know, I bought the tent, the plywood, bought the Unistrut, um, you know, and a lot of this stuff I've had to just go try some stuff. I bought some stuff that I didn't really need. I accidentally bought two sets of hinges, so if you need some uh, rooftop tent, tent hinges, hit me up. I'd be glad to sell them to you for what I paid for them, like 20 bucks um, plus shipping. So. Uh, all right, with no further ado, try to make this video as short as possible. Um, let's get into it. See, this is when you got to split that middle. It's more work to do there. So it works. Um, make sure I'm not doing anything. Bars are inside. I might have to shorten one. There's one that's kind of weird. Um, it's a little bit longer for some reason. I guess I come out. You get the idea. Whee. Just like that. Works like a charm. All right, guys. A um, little update. You see the strap right here, running down to the back. What I did is bought some nylon strap online. Um, I know I'm actually doing the supposedly no so tent, Ugh, no so tent, <laughs> but I uh, do have a sewing machine, did buy one, uh, did learn. Um, what I'm doing is testing out um, this theory. Took some nylon and I measured it all out, sewed some loops in it. And you see that the beginning, I'm gonna leave that one to hold the center up. And I'm gonna put this other one um, on the inside where these ribs right here are. I'm gonna go from here across. So I'll have three straps across the top. Um, the two outer ones will be pulling the tension. Sorry, two outer ones will be pulling tension this way. And then the middle one will be connected on the back. Obviously, you know, not hindering the door. But that way I'll have uh, good tension all around and maybe wind won't affect it too bad. Um, Yes, I know in the comments, this is not gonna be waterproof. Totally aware of that. Um, I'll build a rain fly for temporary. Uh, those of you who haven't been following, um, the idea is I want to, um, I want to put this concept together using the, the Wakeman tent. You can see it on the side. Um, the bottom's completely cut out, by the way. Still working on this. Um, I'm gonna do this with the Wakeman tent, just kind of make do, get the foundation set. Um, and then I'm not worried about 
I'm not worried about the edges not fitting correctly. I'm just gonna, once I get it to where it'll sit stable, no wind, flapping, things like that. Then I'll continue on with the project, tear it all apart, reseal the wood and whatnot. <clears throat> um, but just trying to get a working prototype and then I'm gonna build a tent cover uh, to replace this um, out of some good material. And uh, then at that point, I'll let it totally hit the edges. So I'm not gonna cut the wood, I'm gonna leave it just like that because this is a good length. Um, this is the, this is 48 uh, wide and the two pieces are 44, I think I cut it. I started doing similar to what Patrick did, uh, but I didn't go the 50, I think he went 54 or 55 or something like that. Um, but anyway, just update. I'm gonna put this on and I'll see how it works. straps fall down while you're unfolding. Some stuff going on in the back. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh, probably one last update for tonight. So, three straps. I showed you one in the middle that only goes over the bar, two bars, and then down the back, so it's not in the way of the door. And then the two on each side go full length of the tent. Tent. Excuse me. This is dead center of the top, top center of the bars. 13 inches. If you're using this blue tent, and you're wanting to do this similar thing. It's 26 inches straight across, not not in the arch, but literally straight across is what you got to do. It's 13 inches from the center is what I'm doing. I'll show you that for math. Uh, I'm using the same half half inch long screws, and obviously this is on the bottom side of the bar, so when it's open, it's that screw it against the tent. It's on the inside, facing down. Um, pretty much connecting everything like that. Uh, I had some in these two, and we'll put them back but I'll, all this will be secured with those as well. Um, I mean, it's the best thing that works at the moment. Uh, and I don't think it'll get on it, so. All right, work up. <clears throat> all right, so, quick update. These lines, I mean, 
it's a tent made in China, so what do I expect, right? But anyway, where these lines line up or not, they're kind of symmetrical here from the center, but they're not down here on the bottom. Um, I was trying to kind of get um, just right, but the door is offset heavily to one side, and that's why this one's off, this beam here. So, kind of just doing the best I can with it. But, just wanted to show you. sneak peek inside sorry I'm gonna get shaky for a second so I got the um, here we go I got the straps in Got them screwed in and they are secure. So when you're folding and unfolding, uh, they're pretty snug. You can see in the back back there, I just got it kind of tacked around. Uh, oh, one of my poles came loose. That's why it's looking a little funky. That's why. All right, that explains it. Okay. Oh. Tell you what guys, trial and error stuff. If you're not a builder, I don't suggest trying to, to do this stuff. <laughs> it can get frustrating quickly. But hey, I'm trying to save myself a thousand bucks, right? That is the idea. I mean, I'm basically there. I gotta get some rail, I gotta seal the wood put some rails to mount it to the top of the Jeep or to the top of my trailer there. Um, and I need a ladder. So I don't know. I'm a big guy. The ladder's kind of got me nervous, especially the fact of it holding up, um, the one end, right? But anyway, well, that's it. That's my update for today. I'm really hoping to put this thing to use soon, uh, somehow, even if I'm just putting it in the back of my truck and uh, camping on that way. I just can't camp on the ground. I hate camping on the ground. All right, later guys.